Everyone knows that when it comes to creating wealth, you have to buy assets. But a lot of people don't realize that there's three main types of assets and there's different repercussions with all. Now, the first type of asset that you have is what we call lifestyle assets. So an example is your home, where you live, your cars, your boats, jewelry, electronics. All of these items fall in the category of lifestyle assets. Now, lifestyle assets, some of them may go up in value, but they will never produce an income for you. The second type of assets are what we call investment assets. Investment assets are basically assets that you purchase them and after a while they start to produce an income for you. So an example of uh, an investment asset is real estate that is rented and is producing rental income, shares that are producing dividends, funds that are producing distributions and retirement funds that are growing in value and providing an income. The third types of assets are what we call operating assets. An example of an operating asset is a business. You can sometimes have a business generate an income for you but it can also go up in value value and can actually be worth something when, when you sell the business, you can sell the business as a going concern. So they're called operating assets. One of the things that people don't realize is that lifestyle assets do not make people wealthy. They're simply emotional purchases. And even if the value of a lifestyle asset goes up, the only way to extract money out of a lifestyle asset is through sale or through refinance. So if you're trying to become wealthy, you have to aim for either investment assets or operating assets. In one of the future videos, I'm going to talk about the difference between between purchasing investment assets and operating assets, what are the pros and cons of each, so that if you're someone that's thinking about their long-term wealth creation strategy, you can determine which side do you want to be on.